Who's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Hey, welcome back to another What's in the Box. This week's been pretty busy. We got quite a few things came in. Yeah, we did. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll start things off. I got this 1982 Blade Runner number one um, edition from Marvel came in. Um, I have not seen that yet. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, this is pretty cool in the back here. Look at that. Very nice. Bring the battle home. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> Boy, Macro. Not even out yet. I'm not even out yet. Yeah. Brand new. Very excited about this. This is a uh, number one of. There was two comics in the series. This is a movie ad adaptation, obviously. So, um, we'll be looking for number two. Movie you enjoyed quite a bit, huh? Yeah, very much so. Very cool. I like it. All right, so we went to a. Not really a toy show today. It's called the Northwest Biggish Garage Sale, and it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's a you'll find sale. some. Sometimes you don't. It's a bunch of junk. A lot. Well, we but did find, we did find a few things. Yeah. So, a couple of the things that I found today. This one is actually something that I have looked for for a little while because it's surprisingly difficult to find. And that is the Haunted Mansion record. You, can, you see a lot of the Disney spooky sounds um, or sounds of the haunted house is what they call it. But to find one that actually has the Haunted Mansion on it is a little bit more difficult. Yeah, very cool. So, and <gasps> it's got a storybook inside. You can cover my face. Trust me. It's it, okay. No one's going to matter. It isn't going to matter. <laughs> so, I was excited to find that Yeah, one. that's very cool. And actually, I had a pretty reasonable price. Yeah, really, it Usually was. that's like a... A couple yeah. hundred dollars, couple hundred usually, dollar and I got it for a lot, 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 lot less. Because <laughs> it's a garage sale. Alright, uh, if you've watched any of our videos lately, you'll know that I've gone completely sideways and and bought, uh, I bought some uh, Phantom Menace figures again today. <laughs> um, the thing is, they're so darn cheap. And look, it's a Jar Jar, another Jar Jar. Um, this, I mean, this is cool. It's a Darth Maul. It's the first release of Darth Maul. He was a pretty good villain. I mean, it was kind of sad that he. Well, he's not. He's, he's, I know, around but for in a that while, movie, while. when yeah. we first when it first came out, it was like, oh my gosh, what they do to this cool villain? Dude, those were five bucks a piece. I know. Uh, how do you pass that up? Exactly. So Good. another piece that I got was, and this is kind of funny. So we, we both kind of have this thing for little kids this old. This is going to sound really It's going to sound weird. really weird. Little kids old wallets. Because they did some really fun character wallets back in the, well, I don't know, 60s, 60s and 70s. Because they're all vinyl. But here is one from Disneyland. And I know it's a little silly. Um, but, you know, nothing much to it. They're just these little cheap wallets that you probably would have gotten at the Disneyland gift store. Yeah. But he'll go with my Disney stuff. Dude, I have got a ton of old wallets. I know you do. <laughs> I have are, a couple too. A lot of mine are Western ones like Wyatt or or Bat Masterson, things like yeah. that. But, uh, yeah. I absolutely love those things. Yeah, they're just kind of funny. You have Zorro, I think too, yeah. and a couple others. So it's kind of silly. It's a little, just a little trinket. Uh, and the last thing I have today, um, I found a full box of Robocop 2 Tops trading cards. Very cool. I hate that the fact that they did, uh, they did this. <laughs> they, they always did this as they marked them out of the store. So if, if this was a mark out and destroy, they always black marked them. Now, sometimes you can get this out with with some orange glow without mm -hmm. destroying the box. Uh, I heard hand sanitizer actually works. Really? It, it draws it out, so with all that hand sanitizer you have kicking around, because uh, it evaporates. Mm -hmm. But this is this is pretty cool. Um, actually, what's in here, um, it's, a, it's a full box. You like a whole box? Yeah, you can move the box from here. And then in it is also the uh, tops. It 
it looks like you have two different designs on your wax packs. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Nice. So, that was, uh, was a good little find. I mean, yeah. I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of Robocop 2. But, but you are. There was no packs. Robocop 1 wax packs. They didn't do a 1 for a lot of movies. I'm not too sure that a lot of kids should have been collecting Robocop 1 trading cards. I mean, there's some. There's some horrific there. things in there. But I mean, like, wax packs in general, a lot of times they didn't do a release for the first movie. Like, right. there was no Jaws, there was Jaws 2. Back there was the no Future Ghostbusters, two. there no was back 2. Yeah. yeah, so it was kind of weird that they always capitalized on the 2 when 2 would usually wasn't a better movie. Right. <laughs> so, all right, final thing that I picked up, and this is also going to go with my Disneyland, it is a little set of card games and they are all themed out from different characters or lands but the fun part about it and you'll you'll find these at antique stores and stuff and they'll, they're just kind of kicking around but the fun part is the little train box that it came in um, I have not seen the train box before and I thought that it was in really nice shape um, something that you definitely would have seen in the park uh, back in the you know 50s and 60s so I thought that was a cute little one to add to the collection and in really nice shape yeah so that's it for me so that's all we have for you this week don't forget to like and subscribe make sure to follow us on Facebook Instagram and TikTok. so if uh, you like the content that we're bringing you a like and subscribe will definitely help the channel grow. All right, see you next time.